June. Now that we have the names on, we are going to attach, we're going to fill them up with some crinkle. You don't have to be that much, just make sure it's inside. And then we're going to take some hearts. So I'm going to use the medium sized hearts for the uh, bigger one, and I'm going to use the small hearts for the smaller one. So I'll need two hearts for each thing. It doesn't matter the colors, none of that matters. Okay, so these are felt stickers again. We are going to peel the back off, and we're going to use this as a hinge for the top. So I just place it on, make sure all your items are inside. And we are going to hinge the back opposite from the name. And then we're going to take one, another one, and we're going to put it on the top. So this is going to be for the sticks aka pencils or straws you guys can use straws and then we're going to take some regular tape until my um circle dots come in and we're going to just place it on the front and that's for them to open it on these ones i did put a heart here but i soon realized when i'm peeling it it leaves a residue and i don't like that so we're going to take our hot glue and we are going to just place it a little there and we're going to add two pencils to the big one and we're going to take two pencils, and we are just going to stick them right dead in the middle of the glue. I'm going to take another piece of tape, small, and just put it on the back of the pencils to hold the pencils together, like that. And we're going to do the same to the small one. We got our heart. And we are going to... Set it on top and hinge the back, you guys. This is, you guys can see, so line it up. And just make sure it's touching the top and the bottom bowls. There we go. Like that. Take a little tape for the front. And take another heart. I'm going to place it on the top. In this one, we're going to do one pencil or one straw, whatever you are using. I think the pencils are cute because the kids can actually use them for school. Boom. Now, you know, you just sit and let it dry. We're going to take our ribbon, whatever ribbon you want, and we are going to cut it. I don't know how much I'm cutting. Um, we're going to tie it around. And just make a bow, however you make your bows. Just tie it. Make sure you heat seal your ends with a lighter. I don't have a lighter right now. I need to go buy me a new one. There you go. Now you have your candy apples. I'm going to be making these for my son's class. I'm going to see if he wants the small ones or the big ones. But these are really, really cute. Thank you guys for watching. And if you guys do create these, please join my Facebook group. It is pinned to the description. And share what you create. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to Crafting with Ty and Friends. Today we are going to be making these candy apple Valentine's Day gifts, you guys. We are going to be showing you guys a big version and a small version. Great for class, Valentine pass outs and such. So let's begin. Okay, so everything we're going to use today comes from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have these bowls. It comes 12 in a pack. 
It just says bold at the bottom, so I can't tell you um, what's the name of the product. And then for the smaller version, we're going to be using these small bowls, the six in the pack, and it says mini round bowls. We're going to be using double-sided tape. We're going to be using some crinkles. We're going to be using these felt stickers. You guys can use um, whatever you want. You don't, you don't have to use these felt stickers. I just thought these were cute. Um, you can use cutouts from your cardstock. Or you don't even have to use these. Um, but I'm going to show you guys what I do with that. We're going to be using pencils. These are pencils that I've already had from last year. But I brought new ones. Um, these are 16 in a pack. They come... They have different kind that comes 12 in a pack. And then, of course, they have these ones that come 10 in a pack. But get the 16 in a pack because you get more bang for your buck. And um, that's about it. I am going to be using the packaging that I wrapped my original uh, candy apples in to wrap these in. And I have two cutouts that I'm cutting right now for the names on the candy apples. So let's begin. All right, so we're going to take two of the small bowls, two of the large bowls, and we are going to fill up the bottom with snacks. So just fill it up with whatever kind of chocolate you got, treats, um, yeah. Just make sure that your items can fit nice and snug inside of your containers with the lid on. Let me put some slime. All right, and then we're going to take our top lids and we are going to add some names to the top. Okay. I have to get some um, transfer paper. So the way I put items on curved, when the items is curved, the way I put vinyl on there is I make slits throughout the top and the bottom so you can easily curve your vinyl like this. So that's the way I put them on curved items and it makes it so much easier to lay it down. Yes, I am recycling the same piece that I just used because it's still sticky. And the vinyl don't want to leave the sheet. <laughs> That's what we have with it, y'all. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop Talking to me is stop